Nintendo just revealed Nintendo Directs are coming and a big Nintendo Switch port. That and more right after the best intro on the internet. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing what's up to everybody coming in first before we do or say anything else give the video a thumbs up <laughs> like 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 let's get it over 300 likes easy peasy we have a couple of dope news items for this video and the first one is pretty dope this was the last Nintendo Direct <coughs> in 2019. Way back in 2019. But it looks like that drought should be, should be coming to an end. According to a recent job listing by Nintendo. The job listing in question, this is coming from GamerRant.com. Uh, is for a position at Nintendo of America for an associate AV producer check this out in the description of the job role the website mentions that applicants may assist with filming live action footage for use in Nintendo directs and other content marketing initiatives and so this job description confirms future Nintendo directs Nintendo is planning for and so uh, many fans were saying nintendo's just done with the whole nintendo direct format because we haven't had one in so many months but it looks like nintendo has not quite given up and i have to say i'm leaning towards of course i love the nintendo directs they're hype they're lit because it's a whole it's a big event so many news announcements in one presentation but I also like the individual game focused presentations that they just randomly surprise us with drop on their um, um, website. Those are also dope. So I'm cool with either way as long as we get the information. Maybe, maybe, maybe Nintendo might just have annual directs in place of E3 where E3 um, usually is because they switched the, to the digital format in e3 anyway before the whole COVID 19 and so they'll probably just have the big nintendo direct once a year in the summer because that's what nintendo has done historically with the switch a little light on announcements the first half of the year and then the second half of the year they really turn up for the holiday rush and so nintendo directs are still coming according to this job listing the next news item is pretty epic bro apex legends has been officially the release date has been officially officially confirmed uh, for the switch and it's going to be ported by panic button shout out to panic button they do the best porting job on the switch um go and check out the doom games that they ported they just know the nintendo's hardware and they do a great job of porting big third-party games to the system and so panic button will be porting apex legends to the switch oh i didn't even give you all the release date march 9th and so we have to wait one more month we are about a month and a week away from apex on the switch march 9th will be the launch date for apex legends on the switch and here is the official um press release um by apex 
Porting Apex Legend to its small screen is to a smaller screen yet is a major achievement. And we couldn't have done it. And this is some, some more tidbits in this press release. Check this out. <laughs> couldn't have done it without our friends at Panic Button. We're very proud. I thought I had this on loop, the video. We're very proud of what the team has been able to achieve with some smart optimizations for the Switch port to deliver a full featured Apex Legends experience on the go. Apex Legends was launched on the Switch with support for cross-platform play, our latest seasonal content, and full feature parity with other versions of the game. The Switch port will have all of the features of every other version of the game. Check this out. Plus, they're trying to make up for it launching later on, on the Switch. Check this out. Plus, since we're launching a few weeks after the start of Season 8, Switch players will be granted 30 free levels for their Season 8 Battle Pass. For the first two weeks after launch, playing on Switch will also earn you double XP. I'm going to be heavy on the Switch for the first two weeks to get some double XP. And so that's pretty dope. They're trying to make up. I'm still bummed. I wish it would have launched um, yesterday at the launch of Season 8. That would have been lit, but it seemed like they're staggering it, trying to milk um, season eight, because um, a lot of dudes will double dip, <coughs> but I will be getting the battle pass on the Switch. I'm going to be on the Apex Legends. Any sponsors who want to play Apex Legends with your boy, become a member of the OGC. Links in the description. And the next news item is pretty dope. We've gotten the first review score for Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury from Famitsu, and the score is very good. 36 out of 40, out of a possible 40 points, it's gotten a 36 on Famitsu, which is a real high score, a great score, and mark my words, this game on Metacritic will be in the 90s high 80s 90s it's a phenomenal game um just a core game without bowser's furies is so lit and so can't wait can't wait to get the full game has online multiplayer will be i'm playing that on my gaming channel with the sponsors lit 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 and so the last news item for this video i thought this was interesting nintendo has report R Nintendo reportedly canceled a Zelda Netflix series after it leaked. A report has come out that Netflix was planning a Zelda series, but information started to leak um, um, throughout the company and Nintendo immediately pulled the plug because you got to think sometimes Nintendo has like secret information um, spoilers for possible upcoming games and they panicked and they stopped production because of leaks Nintendo don't play no games tough for Netflix I thought that, that would have been lit bro um, I would have that would have been lit to have a live action Zelda series hopefully Nintendo could partner with another company and still make it happen for Zelda fans all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below I want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things Nintendo. We out. Peace. Sorry, Samuel. Whoever's knocking on the door, one of my kids want to come in uh, to do the outro. We already did it. We out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, 
follow me on Twitter at Obi Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Peace.